five. Anita True. Steven says to keep an eye out on her, but maybe don't keep your eyes too much on her. Otherwise, Steven might be a bit upset about that. <laughs> Three, two, one. The game is Ooh. Early rush, one for one. Off the rush, one for one. Duke is out on Assassins, and Roswell is out for Inferno. Inferno with the throw. Here we go. Attack. Fook with the miss, but... Oh, and and catch. the catch again! Insane, Jono. And it is Jonathan again. Jono. He's been on fire with... How many catches was the last set? In that three last catches. Round, he had a, three catches. Three catches in catches the last set. One last set against Werewolves. Gonna still on fire, it seems. He's been a revelation, eh? He's only started playing like this Pretty season. Good. Pretty good for a newbie, huh? Assassin's down early. Six for two. Assassins with four balls. Furnace to attack with three balls. Andrew misses the mark. Four balls for the girls on Assassins. The double throw in Roswell. And Nina with the hit. Inferno up five plays to one. Last play on Assassins, Olivia. Assassins with the majority balls. Ooh. Ooh and Olivia fails to take the grip. Great. And Infernos <laughs> take the first point. Grips, no grips today. No grips. Off for now, no grips for now. Inferno up one to zero with 37 and a half minutes still to go. That was quite a short round compared to what we've been mm. seeing today. It is. So a two and a half minute round. A lot happened in the early rush. False start. False, false start. Cord. See this game a lot would happen in the early rush, eh? With you've got Paul and Duke. These guys are very really quick runners. These guys are very keen. Oh, a lot yeah, of trades, a lot of trades. One for one again to start off the round. Ooh. Oh, just gets hit. Oh, but he gets a Luke gets hit. Onto Luke. And he's getting a trade off onto Luke. Each side with four, four players each. Inferno with the throw now. Inferno's last to receive. Amy takes a shot. <laughs> oh! Jono gets a cross in. Jono with the solid hit. Hits Jordan on the cross. It was really close uh, for Jordan to catch it there. So, Jono might have got lucky with that shot, but solid shot, I believe. Oh! He's been on fire. Another hit Jono on Jono is really on fire. Takes the straight. My word. And takes out. Looks like Inferno will be coming here with a 2 0 lead. Jono gets caught Camille. this time round, misses the block, and gets taken out by Camille. Ooh, 
Andrew finds his Mark and Camille this time. And Furnos are leading it around with three players to one. Olivia left alone yet again. <laughs> Olivia with four balls. Ferno tried for a jump, but they both miss. And Andrew Ooh, Ferno with takes the catch. the catch. They take a quick 2 0 lead. Andrew takes the solid grip on the ball. Taking that 2 0 lead. Like you said, it's only been six minutes into the game. These are some very fast rounds wow. that we're seeing on this court. Very good change of pace. That last one we had with Minotaurs and um, Arcadia. Those had about 10 minute rounds even. So, one for one again. In. Inferno take one player out from Assassins and Roswell's also taken out. Yeah, Roswell is off. Roswell's off. Ooh, Andrew gets taken out by a really good shot by Luke. Curves into him. That's ex Australian player Luke Price there. Ex Australian player Luke. I mean, he could could still be Oz. He could probably still make it. Of course, still anybody's game at this point. Plenty of time left. What are assassins going to change up here? Oh, Jono! Jono! Takes out Luke after blocking a ball. Look. Paul doesn't find his target. That's they need to hold him down somehow, eh? He's been on fire. Yeah, Jono's really on fire. Is taken out. Paul gets out, and now it's in Inferno. Sorry, oh no, Assassin. Sorry. Oh, Duke, it's a solid hit there. Duke has taken out Jono, leaving the girls left on Assassin's Inferno. up players three v two. Oop! What do we call for that one? Shag has accidentally jumped on court, but it's fine. Amy and Stephanie. Stephanie takes a shot. Assassin's three balls. Amy gets a solid block in. Balls going back and forth, not finding their mark. Good block by Stephanie. It's pretty much back and forth right now, eh? Pretty much. Block by Duke. Someone's got to get a clean, clean hit in. Ooh, Stephanie's good block again. Inferno goes, Ball goes out. They're holding out pretty well, eh? Very, very well. The longer this round goes for, the better it is for Inferno's. Inferno's already have the point lead. <coughs> Solid block again by Stephanie. Four balls to get in the side of the runners. Oh, 
hit. They keep going loose. Inferno. Ball's turfed. No hit. Oh, a move out of ball. Oh, oh wow! Oh. Stephanie takes out Duke. Duke with the risky play there. And now they're down to take two a grip players. On the ball. Two. It's the girls of both Infernos and Assassins against each other. Ooh, now it's just an all girls match. Nita and Olivia on Assassins versus Amy and Stephanie from Infernos. What did you think of that? Risk worth taking? Definitely not. Definitely not. Both balls sky. Nita finds her mark on Stephanie. Nita with the solid hit on the Chris foot. Stephanie from behind on the legs. Leaving Assassin's in a solid position here. Olivia and Anita against Amy. Four balls on Assassin's. Assassin's with four balls. Oh, and Amy yeah, gets taken down. out. The girls on Assassin's show their dominance. The score is now 2-1. Two to one. Inferno is way on. still. We've, We've only got twelve minutes into the just game. About eight and a half minutes left in this first half. What do you think of the match so far? Rounds. Sorry. What do you think of the match so far? The match is looking really good. I still think it's anybody's way. Inferno still have a really good chance to yeah. bring this upset. Start around, Sonny gets taken off. There's not really a clear standout team yet, eh? Exactly. Like both anyone's teams, match both teams doing really well this game, honestly. They're both playing well. Luke calls him off, himself off as a hit. Connor gets a solid blocking. He's still on fire, it seems. <clears throat> Paul gets scraped just on the back there. Just Jordan finds his mark. Another solid Jonathan shot with in, another catch. Jono has taken out Duke what with a good grip. What is going on? He is ab on absolutely Bringing back Paul in on fire face. right now. Andrew, shaky shot there. But Inferno is still in the lead here with five players to three. He's fully embracing the Inferno jersey right now. You know, literally on fire. Pretty much. <laughs> Jono is the embodiment of Inferno at the moment. Four balls on the side of the Assassins. Still Assassins attack. Assassins with four balls now. Jono has been caught off. He's been hit. One for one trade. Train Anita taking the hit to take out Jono. Jordan doesn't find his mark there with that shot. Inferno's with three balls. Player majority. Just gets clipped Jordan with the hit. <coughs> Leaving Infernos. Three players to two in this round. Olivia falls the hit. 
Great honesty there. Andrew calls a self out as well. Really Just great there. by players. That's what I like about the dodgeball community. I love it when people are honest. Yeah, like that. a lot of honesty. Half Two this Inferno game is all about honesty, eh? Yeah, pretty much. Two Inferno Girls versus Jordan from Assassins. Ooh, Stephanie gets taken out first. And Amy still clings Ooh, on to life. He's taking it down back to 1v1. 1v1. Amy against Jordan. Amazing turnaround here. Amy's last receive. A throw misses. Jordan almost had it, but Amy does a good jump dodge. Block. And Amy gets clipped. Jordan takes the round for Assassins and brings it back to a 2 all. Not bad. Assassins versus Inferno. We'll probably, there's it's cool. three minutes left. We'll probably get in one more set before sudden death. That's right. Just over three minutes left of this half. That was a good round by Jordan. The player we should keep our eye on, I guess. He pretty much took Ooh, out. Both Inferno's teams holding back three. this one. Yeah, no, no throws on a rush. Oh, oh. Go, let's go. And it's a trade. Sunny taking out for one Oswald. For one. one for one. Dook finds his shot on Jono, just gets his leg. Ah! Dook Ooh, finds another hoo, shot hoo. onto Andrew. One after the other. Assassins are finding their flow with those last two rounds. He's starting to find his rhythm now, isn't he? That's right. Probably couldn't take any more of uh, Jono's catches. Yeah, <laughs> they have to take out Jono. That's turned how. it up a notch. Thank you. <laughs> nice and hot. Oh! oh! Just. A flurry of throws. Now it's three players to two. Assassins with majority five boards. Luke and the girls versus the Inferno girls. Ooh! Amy gets taken out first on Inferno. Three balls thrown and they managed to get one out. They need a Camille and Luke. Three balls on Assassins. Stephanie does a free throw, doesn't find a mark. Four balls for Assassins. They choose to double, but Stephanie blocks. Anita tries for a catch, but instead fumbles, misses the ball, gets herself taken out. Luke's and they finish it off. Solid shot onto Stephanie. Finishes and takes the point for Assassins. Assassins lead 3 to 2. You know, this One is minute a left of the first half. pivotal moment here. Very. Inferno showed a very strong game at the start. Yeah. Just going into the second half. Yeah. Either 3 all three, or 4 yeah. 2. It's a big That's difference. Right. The difference between a 3 all or 4 2. Took that second out Oswell. Roswell. Also taken out. He caught up. Trade 1 for 1 at the start. Oh no, wait. Jordan's also been taken off. So. Assassins lose two players at the start. Oh, oh, catch no. by Luke. What Bring a catch Duke. by Luke Price. Solid catch, eh? It's like he saw that a mile away. He caught Jono's ball. 
10 seconds now to sudden death. And look. Oh. Showing his presence has taken out. The ref is called half time. Sudden death, sudden death. Sudden death. Four players to three. Both teams are starting to take it pretty slow this round. I think Assassin's know they need to be careful of the catches from Infernos. Finds the grip off of Stephanie's ball. Inferno should also be wary of the catching potential of Assassins. Four gets taken out, leaving Amy by herself, 1v3. And Amy gets taken out, Assassins take the point. 4-2 lead. There you lead go. 4-2 lead for the second half. Oh, welcome to our additional three viewers to the stream. Hope oh, you guys are enjoying now. it. That's great. Half by both players, both teams. Assassin's looking really strong now, taking the last four rounds <clears throat> in their way. Hopefully, we can still see some really good gameplay from Infernos as well. But I showed a really strong start in this game, taking those first two sets within five minutes. Hopefully we can still see some of that fire going in for Infernos. Second half starts. Poor Court running way too slow. And he gets taken by an extremely close range shot. Anita, number 25 on Assassin's, gets caught off guard. But Jordan catches her back in almost immediately. Bringing Assassin's into a 6v4. Jono Gets hit in the face. He looks really injured. He's injured right now. Jono's Must down. Must have been hit in the eye. Those are the worst injuries gonna have to take some time off. He's gone outside. Probably to go wash his face. The Infernos are gonna have to go to the next round without Jono, most likely. Wow. They still have Assassins are guys. really turning it up now, That's eh? That's right. Assassins have really picked up Woo! this game. No and holding they take, back. They take that point in about less than two minutes. Yeah, less. Basically. It seems Jono will be sitting off this uh, round because of that eye. See how can regroup here. They play down. I hope well, he's Jono okay. seemed to be on for just about almost every round. I think they knew he was on fire, but he's been subbed off now due to his injuries. We'll provide an update on Jono once we hear more. Hall gets a block in this time. Nobody traded off at the start. Infernos with four balls. And they get a good right double in onto Assassins. Taking out Jordan.
Hi, Simpson. Yes, it's May Henry and Steven as well. Hey, Simpson. My fellow puppy. Hey, young. That last round went so fast, I actually forgot Assassins took that point to lead them, to take the lead of 5 to 2. I still thought it was 4 to 2, it's 5 to 2 now. Good dodge by Roswell. Fine. And we have an update. Jono is back and well. Jono is back. You can't see him on the screen just yet. Seems to be doing all right. Headline. <laughs> and Sonny finds his mark. Andrew. Sorry, not Andrew. That's. Mitch. Good commentary, boys. Thank you, Simpson. Oh, Roswell gets taken out. Just an Inferno girl's left. In the two. Oh, sorry, no, Paul's here too. So, yes, just an Inferno girl's left. Three v three. shot at four. Last received infernos. Stephanie gets taken out by Dork. Duck finds his shot on Amy as well, leaving Paul 1v3. Sonny's block. <clears throat> Sasses with three balls. Three players to one. Single shot by Duck. This is, but he blocks Paul's counter right after. Solid defense here. Oh, and Paul tried to go for the catch, but he doesn't he had find to go it. For the catch there. That's right. Paul decided he couldn't take that 1v3 himself. Tried for the catch to bring a player back in, but didn't get it this time. Now Avalon with the 6-2 lead. Avalon 6-2 lead with ten just over 10 minutes. This is, gonna, this is looking tough for Infernos. Oh, oh no! Roswell drops it. Roswell drops the rebound from Andrew. So that both of them get taken out. 
Paul also seems to be taken out in the scurry at the start. Wow, and just, what, 15 seconds down to four to two, Mitch two players. Mitch doesn't find the catch either. And not even one minute into the round, we're left with just the Inferno girls versus four players from Assassins. Look finds his marker, Stephanie. Now it's just Amy, Amy in a 1v4. Ooh. Ooh. Amy almost catches Duke off guard. Amy with the ambitious throw. Very close. But Duke finds his mark on Amy as well. Ending the round within a minute. Really fast. See what a team really like that can do? Just in one minute, they can go a whole number One set minute. Up. That's what they've been doing this whole season. Really? Assassins. We've been yeah, first they, they take some really fast rounds, yeah. don't they? They probably have the fastest rounds I've seen. So nine minutes to go. Avalon Assassins lead seven to two. Duke gets hit. Six players up this time. Roswell. Ambitious shot there. I think Roswell's shot actually hit. Solid block by Sonny. Oh! Catch! And assassins find the catch on Paul's ball. Sunny gets taken out. Assassins three players versus five. Roswell gets taken out. Inferno's had zero balls there, so those were some free shots for assassins, and they really made that count taking out Roswell. I think that's the first time we've seen that happen today actually, six balls on one side. Yeah, yeah that is true. Yeah. I mean both teams, they're, they're very aggressive play styles. Yeah, but even then, ball control. So it's like a lot of, lot of uh, trades, but like controlled trades. Exactly. So, I think that's the first ball control mistake we've seen really. Today's now we've game. got six balls again. Six balls again, twice, in the one no, no, round. I just can't seem to get control of this match at the moment. That's right. Assassins takes out Stephanie and Andrew, leaving Amy by herself in a 1v3. And Amy! Does she get the catch before the out? Ooh. Amy Rest gets a grip the on the ball. Here. But very Sunny close, very close. also gets a shot in on Amy. Is it a catch and out? Ref's decision. Catching out. Amy brings Roswell back in. Roswell left in a 1v2. Against Anita and... Roswell doesn't find his mark on Anita. Roswell seems pumped and focused here. Can he bring it back? What would they do here? I think from this point forward though, Assassins might chill out and take it slow. <laughs> Keep their point lead. 1v1. Roswell. Teammate. Assassins versus ex-teammate. Oh! oh! Finds his shot on Roswell. Wow. Amazing. That takes it to an 8 2 lead. Avalon Assassins, strong lead here. With just over 5 minutes to go. Looking really dire for Infernos. 
and realistically speaking, Infernos don't have much of a chance to bring this back. But let's see how well they play still. You never know. Both teams cooling down on the early rush now. That's right. From Assassin's perspective, they would be in a, re in a really strong lead here and they could just take it slow, conserve some energy for the later rounds today. Too many stairs as commentators here. Ooh. Andrew just thrown off his. Yeah, not sure what that what that was. Elbow sleeve, his arm sleeve. Guess he doesn't need it anymore. Feeling a bit more comfortable without it. Mitch gets taken out. Wow. Ooh. Very Caught solid him shot. Off guard there. Did one of his little curves again. Mm. Andrew doesn't block it this time. That's certainly one of the things they like to do, eh? Yeah. You're not looking. Always got to have your head up. Take you or they're going to go for it. It's a really slow round. Just over three minutes left on this half. I think both teams are just playing yeah. playing it out at the moment. I think Inferno's... Noah's oh! Whoa. Close catch, dude. Poor adds a bit of s downward spin on his shot onto Sunny. So Sunny just... Oh, Amy reaches for the ball. Amy reaches. He gets out. Gets taken out. <laughs> Looks back in shock and laughs. <laughs> that she's failed that catch. Oh, dodges really well. Sticking close to the ground. Ball with five balls, left in a 1v4 against Assassins. Good block, six balls. <laughs> Takes out Jordan. Takes out. <laughs> Takes out. Who's that? That's. Assassins would be looking to close that out here. Oh, Luke with the Luke. curve down. Oh, the drop throw. Who, who's that other female player? Numbers. Oh, oh it was Camille. I thought it was someone else. I thought I read, I read the wrong number. Yeah. I thought I read number four. They've come all the way from Melbourne and Canberra every game day to Do play. They? Yeah. Really? Which ones? Jordan and Camille. Jordan and Camille come here from Canberra. Melbourne and Canberra? Yeah. Wow. I mean, not Jordan. Luke, sorry. Luke. Luke. Luke as well. Oh, wow. These guys are really dedicated. The drive down. That's really crazy. I mean, this New South Wales competition Ooh. is about every two or three weeks. That's right. Well, once every two or three weeks isn't too bad, I guess. Well, about. Still a long drive. Canberra, three hour drive. Three hours, and then probably. Melbourne, Melbourne 12 hours. Yeah, Melbourne, Melbourne is definitely a lot more difficult. But if you love the sport. Why not? It certainly makes it harder beer if it's on Sundays, eh? <laughs> Probably gotta leave right after just to get back home for work tomorrow. Right. Pretty much. Coming from Melbourne, you'd be working on Monday. Oh! oh what was that? Sunny with the shadow catch! <laughs> Sunny shadow, that was insane. Now for those who are unfamiliar he with shadowing, horrible. that's where a player uh gets behind one of their teammates for potential reflect for any potential on a catch to get a catch. But that was just Sonny straight up going and hunting for that ball. Ooh. He wasn't thrown at. Paul with the hit and then Roswell with the hit. At. Sonny just went. Oh, oh three hits in a row. Right oh. Tuft, tuft. Roswell doesn't get hit. Paul. 
gets caught I'm by... I'm not too sure what Paul was doing there. Camille. Paul's been doing a few of those shots today. It has a little bit of drop on it, so it's a bit tricky. But unfortunately, Paul didn't find his mark there and gets caught instead. Now it's a sudden death. Now it's a sudden death. Oh. Emmy's been brought back on. Emmy's mm -hmm. been brought back on, so there's catch yeah, earlier. Yeah, since Camille with the catch, that means Jordan comes back in. Yes, Jordan's also back in. Now 3 so versus 3. 3v3. Three. Three three. Yeah, three three. pretty much. He's sending it! Ooh. Oh! Oh! Gets taken out by Jordan from a full court shot. Full Amazing! Court court shot. Amazing shot. You know, I don't know how he does that, eh? Insane. So effortless Actually from one, one corner to the other. Exactly. It's crazy. Inferno girls. He's probably Inferno sending it again! Ooh. And Jordo Ooh. takes that straight shot, has a little bit of curve into it, and gets Amy in the legs. Stephanie, four balls. Doesn't find her target. Olivia putting the pressure on. Jordan with another ball. Three balls on Assassin. All players with a ball. Double on Stephanie. Don't find Neymar. Jordan releases that last ball. Misses. Stephanie, no hit. Oh! And Jordan gets a solid grip on Stephanie's ball. It was certainly the MVP the of that set right there. Ending the match. That's right. Jordan definitely the MVP of that round. Probably but got two to three hits and a catch. End the game strong yeah. with a 10 2 lead. 10 2. Inferno's only found those first two rounds. It certainly looked like it game. was anyone's game, eh? It certainly looked like anyone's game <laughs> at the start. Two sets. But Assassins definitely found their flow. Turned it up. And took it, turned it up a notch higher and brought the heat to Infernos. <laughs> a little too hot for Infernos, I guess.